More than 700 engineers and construction specialists from five continents and more than 50 countries visited Ljubljana in the past couple of days, attending the World Construction Forum 2019, which was held under the title Buildings and Infrastructure Resilience. The World Construction Forum was the second important international meeting of engineers in Slovenia in recent years, as in 2012 the World Engineering Forum was also held in Ljubljana. The World Construction Forum started with meetings of the extended executive board of the World Federation of Engineering Organizations and continued with a two-day forum in Cankaredom, the main cultural and congress center of Slovenia. As part of the forum, the organizers also prepared an exhibition with which they honored centennial anniversaries of the Technical Faculty of the University of Ljubljana and the Slovenian Chamber of Engineers, both organizers of this year's World Construction Forum. The forum being held under the honorary patronage of His Excellency Mr. Borut Pahor, the President of the Republic of Slovenia and United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization started with a plenary session. Highly respected speakers from all over the world, Professor Jingzhu Yan from China, Professor Antonia Moropolo from Greece, Mark Coleman from the United Kingdom, and Professor Peter Pfeiffer from Slovenia presented their speeches, as well as Dr. Marlene Kanga, current president of the World Federation of Engineering Organizations. The World Construction Forum held here in Ljubljana is, has been a great opportunity to talk about construction technologies for resilient uh, infrastructure and buildings around the world. I am sure that the delegates have learned a great deal from the presentations that have been made over the three days of the conference and will implement solutions that are sustainable and for the benefit of our future. Presentations at the forum were divided into six themes connected to six sustainable development goals which are part of the UNESCO strategy for a better future and healthier environment. Forum themes were Energy in the 21st Century, Construction 4.0, Cultural Heritage in a Digital World, Disaster Risk Management, Engineering Capacity Building, and Building Information Modeling. At the Forum Closing Ceremony, the Ljubljana Declaration on the Construction Sector until 2030 was accepted by the participants of the Forum. The forum ended with a gala dinner at the Grand Hotel Union. The Slovenian Chamber of Engineers awarded the most innovative projects in construction during this occasion. It is my great pleasure and honor that uh, we succeed after seven years when we, success, when we successfully organized first World Engineering Forum. This year, we prepared also first World Construction Forum in Ljubljana. Participation of more than 700 engineers and uh, other participants from more than 50 countries all around the world shows the importance of this event. I am especially happy because so many Slovenian engineers are also participating and uh, I believe they, they will use the opportunity for exchange of knowledge and business contacts and uh, what is most important that Slovenian construction sector will get new ideas how to, to develop and to go in the next crisis in a better condition as last time, 2008. Some forum attendees experienced a technical visit to Škocijan Caves, a part of the UNESCO World Heritage, and Predjama Castle, famous for its position in a rock wall. <laughs>